All right, you guys know that when I find a good product or a good service, I like to share it with you, even though I don't get paid. Um, but this, this is an outstanding drive shaft. I had this drive shaft made at Denny's Drive Shaft, and here's their website, denny'sdriveshaft.com. Uh, this is an outstanding product. And when you're trying to get your, the power from the engine to the transmission back to the rear end, you want to have a quality drive shaft. This thing is not only a drive shaft, it's, it's, this is a work of art. Uh, I picked this up right where they make them, and I talked to the owner, Denny. He is a great guy. If you need a drive shaft, or if you need any rear end parts, axles, uh, gears, anything, this, he can do it for you, and he's willing to help you. That's the key. It's someone who's willing to help you. Now, their website has got excellent, excellent tutorials on how to measure for the right size drive shaft. How to measure what size universal you need, how long you need to have the drive shaft, the yoke, the spline. It's everything. It's got an excellent description on how to measure for your drive shaft. So visit him, and, uh, and if you need anything for drive shaft parts or anything, just give him a call and talk to him. He's a great guy. Denny, great stuff. Denny's drive shaft. So let's go and uh, install this, and we'll get it hooked up to the rear end. Now putting the yoke into the transmission, not too difficult. The transmission is full with the uh, secret mesh oil. You put a little bit on the shaft here, line up with your seal, and... Make sure the spline is engaged. Slide that right in there. Now, the transmission is in neutral, so it's easy to turn. Now we can go and hook up the other end. Now on the back side, just make sure that the caps are pressed all the way in and come inside the flange where you're going to come out your bolt here, the U-bolt. Uh, inside the cap, there are spacers, so if you drop it or drop both, Make sure that you have the same spacers, one on each side. You don't want to have both of them on one side. Now, turn this around. Put the other one in. I know it seems like a pretty simple procedure to go through the showing on video. Uh, but you can install these wrong, especially if you don't have those caps pressed in all the way and uh, you don't get fully installed inside the lips, inside the, in the yoke there. And when you put these, let me get this off, start it on here. When you run down these bolts, they don't have to be red face tight. You don't need a half inch with a breaker bar. 17 foot pounds is all you need on these bolts. Cranking it down is not going to help. As a matter of fact, you could probably crush that cap end up ruining your your uh, U joint. There we go. 17 foot pounds will be all done. And there you are, fully installed and ready to roll. So quality parts cost money. That drive shaft was $329, but it was made with excellent components, quality craftsmanship right here in the United States. So if you're going to get a drive shaft, make sure you spend the money, invest it, and buy a good one. If you're spending $189, $200 on a drive shaft like uh, I've seen on some websites, believe me, it's not worth it. They're going to twist, they're going to blow up, and if it blows up, it's going to come up through your floor and completely destroy your car. And you don't want to have that happen because it's a safety hazard, right? So do the right thing, do the smart thing, just put the money in the components and buy a quality part. And if you give Denny a call, you'll be sure to get a quality part. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for stopping by Pizza Raj.